It's that fixture in the calendar once again. We face the Dirty Scouts Bastards on Sunday at Old Trafford and the Dolly Gunner Nobed and we're looking for our first win in the league under him against them. At home. Before all that, I'm going to go back to last night's action. The win meant that we were top of our Champions League group. I know all the inners and top reds will be, you know, having an adrenaline rush. But we're not home and hosed yet. Lose against Atlanta and we're still in deep, deep trouble. And I don't think it's out of the possibility that we can still crash out into the Europa League. That's how tight and congested it is. As far as I'm concerned, stuff the second half performance and the win. This isn't X Factor. And it had echoes of that last night. And it was like on the X Factor, where you would sin for survival on the Sunday if you're in the bottom two. And you have one more chance to prove to the judges that you're going to deliver a vocal to get you into next week, to try and outwit your opponent. Otherwise, you're out. And it's also like when the joke acts get through to next week and then you have two talented sinners who are in the bottom two and then the judges with their own act or not their own act have to decide whether they abstain, if they tie, if someone has the desired in vote or it goes to the public vote and the results go from last night uh, show to see who got the less votes on that Saturday. The all the crowd and the adrenaline carried us through. I want a manager that's going to break boundaries with this team. And I don't see this under this manager. He's still on borrowed time. One swallow doesn't make a summer. This doesn't change the ultimate fact that Oli should have been sacked a long, long time ago. Another Luke, lucky, fluky win. If Steve Bruce had the luck and the fluke and wins that Ollie Gunn and Norbert having, he would still be in the job right here, right now, at Newcastle United. So he was relieved of his duties yesterday. So I'm still Ollie out. I'm not going to flip flop. I've never done that. I'm adamant that I want him gone. And that second half win just is going to buy him a little bit more time. And that is annoying. And I would have rather lost that game because I do not want to lose against the Scouts Bastards I never do so this is very annoying as far as I'm concerned but you know if you're happy with this good for you but there's no foundation we're still in grave danger and Frank Lampard by the way Top Reds he finished above his Champions League group and he still got sacked Jose Mourinho finished top of his Champions League group or second and he still got the sack in December when he lost, ironically, to Liverpool at Scunfield. So, yeah, I wouldn't be too, I wouldn't be too comfortable yet, top reds and all the inners, because you're still going to be beaten eventually. And that is on the horizon. Make no bones about that. So, team, I'm going to pick the hair in goal. Uh, right back is going to be um, Wamba Crapper. Uh, Centre backs, um, Maguire scored. That was another annoying for me because I, I can't stand the guy. Which I've uh, had a million and always will admit. He annoys me. But I'm always going to pick him and Linderoff. Uh, left back, I would put Tellez, but you know, uh, Ollie's not going to do that because he has his favourites, as we all know. Pork is one of them, unfortunately. Uh, midfield two, McTominay. Uh, I think Fred had a problem. So, I think McTominay and Fred will be there. I thought McTominay had a very good game, by the way. Almost scored when he hit the post. Up front, Ronaldo. You know, Mr. Champions League and Mr. Seen saw Messi. Uh, scored two goals late on and go, well, do you know what? Messi's not going to upstage me. So, I'm going to win the game for Man United. And I'm going to put myself on the front and back pages. And Lionel Messi is not going to be on there. And he's going to be wiped away, as they say. Uh, tomorrow's chip paper. And all that jazz. So Ronaldo, you know, did his bit and won the game. I won that game, by the way, um, because of the plays and not because of Oli as well. So Ronaldo up front, uh, across, uh, Pogba was dropped, that was good. So across the front line, Bruno. I think Pogba will play in this game, unfortunately. 
and Rashford had a dead leg. So I'm going to take Greenwood instead. I'm not sure if Rashford's going to recover. And I think Rashford's playing off adrenaline, by the way. You know? And then, but eventually he will slow down. And um, that's something that people need to uh, be warned about and watch out for. Because uh, that's what happens when you come from a long term injury. It happens. So that's the only pick. Uh, Got to keep Mo Salah quiet. Uh, could be a sombre mood. He scored a goal against Man City. Can't copy of the goal he scored against Watford. And it looked like actually the same goal he scored against Everton a couple of years ago at Scumfield. But we can beat them. I'm sure of that. I don't want to lose against Liverpool. Those people who want us to lose or all he goes against his team. No, I'm not, I'm not having that. You're not a Man United fan if you want to lose the game. And you're not a Man United fan if you don't know the history between these two clubs. Uh, it's hate. And that's all it will ever be. They're our rivals. They hate us. We hate them. And it's always been like that. And it'll always stay like that. You know, despite us not being very good uh, at this moment. You know, it's still a big fixture in the calendar. And you want to win it at all costs. And that's where I sit on that one. I've never changed my mind on that. You can't predict the loss against them. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 Man United win. So let's hope we can get the victory on Sunday.